What's up guys, it's <clears throat> me here and I'm bringing to you some Domination on Hard Hat and uh, <clears throat> my voice is scratchy. I'll be using the P90, I'm not sure what attachments, and this game I get a Osprey Gunner and I'm playing with a friend and Netflix, we both get our Ospreys. Let's go! Um, sorry I didn't upload for like four days, I've been pretty busy and uh, Black Ops 2 trailer came out yesterday. Probably be making a video or or not video, but I'll probably be making an opinions video on it. But today, what I really wanted to talk to you about is: Do you like Modern Warfare 3? Do you have a problem with it? I mean, personally, I like the game and I hate the game. I mean, it's it has some very good things that it did right, and has some things that it definitely did wrong. Specialist is good support is not <laughs> what are you thinking like someone could go 20 and 50 and get a whatever it's called that drops like five care packages and get an osprey gunner an ac-130 a reaper a pavlo and an attack helicopter now it's not gonna happen but they're almost gonna always get a pretty good kill streak so like support i'm okay with if it's uavs but Lethal kill streaks I'm not okay with. Um, also, I don't really like that they like some of the maps in the game. But some of the maps they made really well in my opinion. Uh, I do like the kill streaks in this game for the assault package, but the Osprey Gunner is not worth a 17 kill streak. The Pavlo is definitely worth a 12, though. I mean. And all the thing I didn't like though is I know it's dumb, but they didn't make the AC-130 very good in this game, in my opinion. I mean, the Pavel is definitely better. If I run AC-130 in a game, too, because the map is only for is wide open, or I feel like running AC-130 because it's fun. And so at the beginning here, I die a lot, but I finish 33 and 4. Not the greatest gameplay, but a pretty fun gameplay considering I'm rushing around always free to take bullets but they don't kill me very much at the end of the video which is good and uh... yeah what else do I like? I like that they I like Call of Duty Elite I mean if they could get it to work and it's not really worth 50 bucks in my opinion but maybe 25 bucks that's a pretty good deal I mean I know it's like not it might not make them as much money but it'll make them the same amount because more people will get it I mean, not everyone has 110 bucks to spend on one game. Like, if you, not many people got this game and Call of Duty Elite and Battlefield 3. And they could have increased their money, in my opinion, if they just used $25, because more people would have got it. But, you know, it's whatever. I'm not really going to get into that too much. Um, the guns in this game, I think, are pretty balanced. Balanced. Uh, the SMGs are really good in my opinion. You may say they're too good. The only really good SMG that I think is overpowered is the MP7. But it's not the MW2 UMP. It, it doesn't kill that fast. It's not a two bullet kill. Um, it kills pretty fast up close, but other than that, it's an average SMG until you get to a distance. It's an above average, a really good SMG that has little recoil. The UMP is very underrated. That's a very good gun, to be honest. And most of the assault rifles, about half of them, are very good. All of them are usable. I mean, people may say the M16, the CM901, aren't, and the MK14. MK14 is two hit kill automatically. M16 is very good at long range, better than the Type 95 at extreme ranges. Um, and the CM901 has less recoil than the ACR. If you don't believe me, look at Blame Truth's video. It's all said there. And uh, snipers really piss me off in this game. I do like the Barrett and the MSR though, and the ASS50, I think it's called. I don't know, but I guess they're all right. And you know, what are you gonna do? Snipers have to be in the game to keep people happy. Right here, I pick up my chopper. Oh, that's right. Air support. Airspace too crowded. That's what you get for playing playing with a friend that has a 2KD. 
that can hold his own. Um, what was I saying? The right shield should just be removed completely from the game, in my opinion. Uh, I think they did a good job taking second chance out of like off the perk slot, but they still have final stand. And one thing in Black Ops 2, I'm not saying I'm not talking about Black Ops 2, but one thing is they gotta take all death death streaks. I mean, at a six death streak, I think I'm slurring a little today. Sorry, you get Dead Man's Hand, and that thing has a the range of an AC-130, 105, 105 millimeter or whatever. That thing has a big blast radius and it is not fun to get killed on a high streak with it. I mean, watch a lot of nuke fail or Moab fails and Dead Man's Hand is the reason. Rather have Mardenom where you can run away. Got a couple seconds, but Dead Man's Hand. If you have Dead Man's Hand, there should be a, like a big thing. Like you should have a special costume that shows you have Dead Man's Hand. Like the C4 is just a bunch of them strapped on you. That's what I think it should be. Um, you know, not a normal guy where you think you can just rush. I mean, if you're using a shotgun and you get, you're automatically in dead man's hand range. <clears throat> Sorry if you heard that. I was like, moving my laptop a little. If you use an SMG, you're most likely going to be in dead man's hand range. If you use an assault rifle, half the time you're going to be in dead man's hand range. I mean, it's ridiculous. And right here, I pick up my Pavlo. Boy, this kill streak's a beast. Uh, and guys, do you want me to make a video every day? Because I could. And in the summer, I plan to make a lot of videos. And by the end of this year, I'll have a PBR, hopefully. But that's about it. I get a couple kills with my Pavlo, get my Osprey, get a couple kills with that. And that's pretty much the video. Final score is 33 and 4. Um, sorry for the wait on the video. I'll probably have at least four more videos up this week. And, uh, see you guys.